John Cryer, and in this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a super speed effect. You will need to film a shot of you playing your part and an empty shot of the background. These should both be filmed from a tripod for this effect to work properly. And make sure your lighting is consistent throughout your scene, otherwise there could be a jump cut. In Premiere Pro, place your shots on the timeline with the empty shot on the bottom and your acting shot on the top. Move the playhead to the point where you want to come into the frame and select the top clip. Then select the razor tool and make a cut on that frame. Trim it to the length that you want it, right click and choose Add Frame Hold. Then go to the Opacity Properties and select the Pen Tool. Draw a mask around yourself. Make sure to set the mask feather to around 50 pixels. Next, right click on the clip and choose Nest. You can name the nested sequence something like Super Speed 1. Select the nested sequence, go to the Effects Controls panel, and apply the Transform effect. Make a keyframe for the position and drag the value until you're out of frame. Move a few frames forward and drag the keyframe value until you're back in the spot where you want to be. Trim the clip so that the last keyframe is at the end of the clip. Go to the Effects Controls panel and apply the Directional Blur effect. Set the direction to 90 degrees because you're running horizontally. Set the blur to around 160 pixels to get a realistic motion blur. The next super speed effect is the same, but since I'm running towards the camera, I also need to animate the scale. Adjust your keyframes until you have results that you like. Hi, I'm John Cryer, and in this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a super speed effect. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel.